Hey, family, poor city coming right black at y'all with this African history, culture and greatness. I really hope you guys are doing all right out there. Family, I want to say thank you for all the well wishes and all of the thoughts and prayers that you have been sending my way. All of that positive energy has been well received um, on the loss of my father. So I want to again thank you guys, each and every one of you guys. Also, thank you and welcome to anybody that has uh, subscribe to the channel recently. Thank you guys. I have been out the game because of my dad's loss. Um, so or the loss of my father, I apologize, but, um, I'm back in action. And, uh, since I've been back, I noticed that, um, we got some interesting things in the news waves, uh, here recently. Um, somebody asked me here, um, about the queen and how do I feel about the loss of the queen? And um, <laughs> quite frankly, I gave a, a harsh response to that. Um, you know, I said, you know, I'm still mourning the loss of my father um, and I'm really not concerned about a queen. Um, but I've been reading um, these uh, comments in social media, um, you know, from the African-American community. And a lot of them are feeling really, um, you know, saddened about the loss. I can understand about a loss. I recently had a loss myself, but a lot of African, a lot of African Americans um, don't realize the history um, that the British um, had in, in the contact with uh, Africa and how Europe undeveloped Africa as a whole. So if you ever read Walter Rodney's book, when, um, how Europe under underdeveloped Africa, you'll, you'll definitely um, understand the, what I'm talking about, but I want to share my screen uh with you guys um it's the uh it's the encyclopedia um dot com so you guys can look this up as well and we're gonna go we're gonna look and see um what type of uh colonization took place in africa by britain that's what we're gonna do all right family so um sit tight um Go ahead and thumb up the video. Go ahead and like this joint. You know what I'm saying? Because we about to go ahead and get, get into it real quick. Okay, so um, I'm going to try to share my screen so we can get right into it here. So give me a minute, family. Um, here we go. All right, bitty bing. All right, so here we go. All right, family, if you're looking at the screen here, um, where we at? Okay. This is uh, the encyclopedia.com and uh, talking about African uh, British colonies. Okay. The history of uh, the British rule uh, in, in Africa. Okay. So um, everybody crying and boohooing about these Brits, but um, let's just read um, history. All right, family. All right, so it says here, colonialism by its very nature has racist uh, connotations. British colonialism in particular was structured as a dictatorship using violence to pacify the colonial subjects and uh, to, main, uh, to maintain order. There was no input from uh, colonized in the way uh, that they were governed. All right, so it just breaks it down and we're gonna go down a little further on how um, British colon the uh, how uh, history I'm sorry history of British colonial rule in Africa. It is important to note that the advent of the uh, British colonization of Africa coincide with the era of scientific racism as representation by social Darwinism survival of the fittest. The British believed that because they had superior weaponry. Um, and were therefore more technolo uh, technologically advanced than the Africans that they had a right to colonize and exploit the resources of Africans in the name of promoting civilization. Okay, so that's where they coming from. All right, y'all still crying over this? Let's look at what type of, uh, how many countries um, that the Great Britain had uh, when, they, when, you know, when they was colonized in Africa. You know what I'm saying? Let's not forget the Berlin Conference. All right, family. But let's look. Britain had many, many colonies in Africa. Uh, in uh, British West Africa uh, was Gambia, 
We had Ghana, Nigeria, uh, Southern Cameroon, and uh, Sierra Leone in the British East Africa. There was Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania uh, in the British South Africa. There was South Africa, uh, Zim uh, Zimbia, Zimbabwe. I mean, the list goes on. Botswana, uh, Swaziland. Uh, Britain had a strange and unique colonial history in, uh, in Kemet. They were talking about the Sudan, formerly known as the Anglo uh, Egyptian Sudan, was jointly ruled by um, Egypt and Britain because they had jointly colonized the area. The joint colony, uh, colonial administration of the Sudan by Egypt and Britain was known as the Condonium government. Uh, the British system of government affected the type of uh, racial and ethnic problems problems that all of the Britain's African colonies had during the colonial period. Uh, the uh, Im immediate uh, post-colonial period and uh, from 1980 into the 21st century. All right. You know, they didn't play around. These Brits, you know, are colonizers. And, you know, we up here boohooing you know, over this queen. Uh, let's look at his pre-colonial racial and ethnic relations in British colonial Africa. Uh, ethnic rivalries were uh, not serious in pre-colonial Africa. So what they're trying to tell you is before the contact with these Brits, you didn't have a lot of infighting going on. They took these small little um, tribal type wars and differences that we had amongst each other and they used them against us. But uh, reading further, um, the majority of ethnic nations lived in their independent small uh, polit politities. Uh, they were, however, some large conquering empires, uh, uh, Bugandian um, Empire in Uganda, the Zulus in South Africa, uh, the uh, Mue Mutaba Empire, and uh, Sona people in Zambia, if I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly, uh, Great Zimbabwe, uh, the Benin Empire, shout out to Nigeria, that's where my people are from, the Kingdom of Yoruba, Ife, Oyo, and uh, Ab Abadan, Asante in uh, Guinea, Ghana, I'm sorry, the Fulani Empire in northern Nigeria, which even tried to extend it a uh, region in Sierra Leone. I mean, these people had their hands in everything. It further read around the Lake Chad, uh, northern Nigeria, and uh, the Ibu. See, this why I don't fuck with them like that, because they colonized my people. Shout out to the Ibus. I am part of that population. I am descendant of an Ibu. Um, Ibo. Uh, the Ibos, uh, the, you know, located centrally in uh, southeastern uh, Nigeria, I'm pretty sure is at least 30, 50 million, I believe, over there. Could be more. But things change um, with well, says the British Empire um, when it when when they entered Africa. So, I mean, they're just trying to tell you that uh, they were just chopping things up, dividing things as they wanted to. Um, they took all of the resources and that's how Africa got uh, underdeveloped. You feel me, family? That's how that that's how that went down. All right. So all y'all boohooing over these Brits and stuff like that, y'all crying and stuff and not knowing the history and not knowing how they colonized, subjugated, um, put in change, stole our history. I mean, I went into some uh, museums over there and all our stuff got stolen and put in, 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 the, in their museum. So I don't got really nothing nice to say about the loss of the queen, you know what I'm saying? You know, I understand losses. I recently lost my dad. We all lose people, you dig know what I'm saying? But um, when it comes to people, they colonize my people. I don't really have any love for them. I'm going to be really honest. And that's how y'all should feel out there, family. All right. So I'm not going to stay on that long. I hope you guys enjoyed um, me sharing some of this. And if you have any um, value out of this, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe. If you guys are checking me out on the replay, um, this is Poor City coming right back at all. So, uh, come in a second. Uh, somebody had put about a. Uh, uh, the Maroons in the Americas. So I might try to go ahead and get um, a study for that out for you guys. All right, family. I did see that in the comments just to let you guys know I am paying attention. 
All right, family. So until then, um, I'm going to come right back at y'all with this African history, culture and greatness. I hope you guys are doing all right. And, um, you know, peace out, family. I'll be right back. Be right back at you.